Hello people that are in that house are doing so you probably heard about the new restrictions now and there's only a few, a few new restrictions but at the end of the day they do impact, they do pack a punch, uh, they do take away your freedoms in other words. Um, so yeah you probably heard about that and talk about the sport aspect at the moment of the time. Um, now I know there's a few older people around here, older gentlemen, who love going to the games, who love just going down to watch the games in the evening. Um, down at the local pitch here, and um, they loved it. You know, for a while they were able to do it since the pitch has opened, and um, with the train and you know a few matches, a few cabin matches, the cabin championship was ongoing, and um, they loved going down. And now they can't go down, and that's you know very for it is really very upsetting because you know, it was great to see you know people enjoying themselves and people you know going back to routine, and going into the match and watching the match, and um, it kind of brought back a sense of normality. And um, it was only small, like the numbers were down obviously compared to what they used to be but you know at the same time you know they were there and they had the option and now we have to go and you know stream it online or stream it on Facebook whatever they whatever whatever um, and again you know I'm not the biggest fan of you know the people who are over the GA because I think they're just money hungry people who just charge people way overpriced for getting into matches and things like that but then a cabin man cabin man complaining uh, about the money no but at the end of the day there's you know it is a bit extreme in some matches you pay a few you pay nearly if you, you know you pay a good lot and the GEA has a lot of money and they make they make killings like you know every like how oh, this year wasn't done but um you take a bad view of back through the years you know all the all the finals and all the matches and everything they make huge killings um I don't know, making like I can't tell you how much money the the Calvin Champions board whatever the board the board over the GEA and Calvin like the amount of money they make on one match I'm not I'm not lying to you it's a ridiculous sum of money. But at the end of the money, they have to make money at the end of the day. But um, it's just the thing is that, you know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that people can't go in and watch. Um, and it's sad. It's sad, especially with other vets too, you can't go in and watch. It's just, you know, it's sad and it is taking an impact on people. Um, because, you know, again, you know, if you play in a match behind closed doors, you've got a bit of support. Like people, like the, what makes the team is the community and the fans around you. Um, the encouragement. You know, and that encouragement is not going to be there. And it just won't be the same. It just won't be the same. If there's nobody there on the sideline, if there's a huge crowd, let's take, for example, for Buddhist Bridge, and Buddhist Bridge is playing where I'm from. Um, Drong, let's take Drong. Drong and County Cabin. I just, I just randomly just tried to think of a name. And um, Drong, let's take, for example, Drong. Uh, so Buddhist Bridge is playing Drong. You know, let's take, for example, I was at a few matches, you know, a few, two or three years ago for Buddhist Bridge. It was a big matches. These are big championship matches um, and you know the amount of Buddhist supporters overwhelmed you know whatever the other team were playing over like there was more Buddhist supporters far more but there was about 200 of us it was about only maybe 50 of them you know but we were, we were closer you know we were nearly at home ground if that makes any sense so and that coached the team to go forward and that gave them loads of confidence and we won that game because you know we had the overwhelming they had an overwhelming support um, and that helped them get through. That gave them the confidence to push forward. Um, and again, you know, they will have that. And that's going to be something that, you know, that really will affect people playing on the pitch. Um, and unfortunately, you know, it is a reality. And this is what's happening, unfortunately. You know, they can't find any other way. But um, and all the gatherings too, just what they mentioned about it, you know, at least mass and funerals, at least now up to 50. Um, now, one social democrat TD, and I have to say, um, she was asking... Why is mass exempt from the restrictions? Only six people allowed in a in a house. That's what it is now. Six people allowed in a house, one building, whatever. Um, and she asked on Twitter, "What, you know, why is mass exempt?" Um, and again, I say to people, you know, people need their fate. And it's simple as that. People need their fate during these times of uncertainty and times of economic uncertainty too. Um. You know, they need they, they want their fate, especially older people. Older people connect with God. As Father Ted, as one episode Father Ted said, you know, the older people have the direct line to God. Now that we do like people like me and younger people have to go through the operator. But they can go through straight away to God. They don't have to get through to the operator, they can go straight and connect to God. And that's something older people have to gift in. Older people can connect with God in ways we don't know about. And only they know. Um, and again, you know, I said to the guy, at least to give him a bit of credit here at the end of the day, that they did limit, they did up it to 50. Um, and because, uh, again, I know somebody who passed away, unfortunately. 
um, during the pandemic and you know they couldn't you know it was only like the I like I can't even explain it because it was cruel it's cruel it's cruel like it's cruel you can always have another f- and this again this is when the match is still going on in Dublin and uh, for you know everybody knows I'm top but but uh, again you know it's not really fair it's not really fair because at the end of the day they can't have another funeral they can't have another funeral you know, it's just tough. It's t- very, very tough, especially if you lost the loved one now. It's, it's extremely tough. You can't get to say, at least now you have some kind of good, you can say you're fine with goodbyes. But it's just not the same. It's just not the same. It's just not the same. I'm telling you, you know, we're suffering, I'm telling you. Again, it's as it says in the Bible, any country that brings an abortion. And, you know, and they, somebody read this to me before the pandemic. And, you know, I didn't say anything about it before, but now thinking back, you know, he was white. He was white. He was dead white. He said, no matter whatever country brings an abortion, you know, they were suffering. They were suffering. The says in the Bible, they don't imagine that consequences will come in that country that brings an abortion. Because, you know, that's the, that's the, the devil's walk. As I keep saying, it's the devil's walk. Um, but, yeah, you know, hopefully maybe... This country might learn a lesson out of all this. Um, hopefully maybe this government might take, but maybe they won't. I don't, don't think they really care. At the end of the day, as long as me whole gets his money, and to Lee whole, Lee whole, Lee whole. At least you can, the only thing you can do in these times, you know, people might say, you know, why you seem so cheerful sometimes. You always have to try, you know, and try and look at the positive. Because if you keep looking to the negative, you know, you're down to the pits of hell. Because it's such, you know, you, now with this everything, you know, we can fall so easily now. Your mental status can fall so easily. Um, and yeah, I'll just say to people, you know, obviously, I would encourage people, because the guards obviously have more powers to enforce these, um, to please comply with the government guidelines. I just have to say it straight. Um, even though I don't want like, to let people go into the matches, a few people, at least. But unfortunately, you know, you know, it's not how it supposes you can't fight the system as they always say. Um but yeah, please God, you know if my everything might change and hopefully please God there's something to happen it will change everything going around and everything will go upwards. But unfortunately that might be a long way off now. But anyway, thank you for watching, take care everybody and be safe and bye.